Hi, Dwayne. I'm a member of the Ovine Liberation Front. There are some terrible things going on right under our noses. Atrocities on these farms. We've snuck a camera in and are going to expose it. Did you know that they're killing animals on some of these farms? And then they eat them. It's like a zombie movie. It's horrible. Everything should be allowed to live. Just think about a world with the streets full of cows and chickens and velociraptors. It'd be great. You could hug them. Sounds a bit like Australia. That's pretty much the third world, ain't it? Uh, precisely. What we want is our own world, a fourth world, where we can snuggle with a chicken or a goat and lay in the hay together, where nothing dies. Listen up, Jeff. You are going to have to understand that the good Lord made natural selection for a reason. It is well known that shark embryos cannibalize their litter mates in the womb. The strongest one eating all the siblings. My mother was pregnant with triplets, but when she went into labor, only one came out, and that was me! I won! That's the way nature works, son! You can't fight nature, but you can wrestle with it at Dwayne Earl's Art. Stop by and tell Tammy that you heard it on this show, and she will give you a commemorative koozie for your beer so that it will stay cold as you tour the premises. That's about all the time we got this week. This has been Beyond Insemination. I'm Dwayne Earl, and you're not.